Today, high school students are getting a business course of a different kind. Scott Reckler, director of LearnServe International, a Metro DC nonprofit, is challenging these 15 to 17 year olds to think about business from an entirely new direction, social entrepreneurship. Is that this is not just sort of located in what they're doing now while they're in high school, so sophomore, junior, or senior in high school, but really this is gonna set them on a path that when they go to college, they'll be like, oh, hey, I know how to do that and start up a student organization. When they get to their first job, they'll be like, oh yeah, why don't we start this new program within the company or within the organization? And it'll set them on that path of innovating and leading and really trying to take their vision or their ideas, think creatively about solutions and turn that into a reality. No, I wouldn't even say it. No, 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 I'm just, I'm just curious. I'm asking you really, how would you go about creating the rally? In an era that has seen greed collapse our financial markets, Scott is challenging young people in schools in Maryland, Virginia, and D.C. to think about business as a social good that makes communities stronger. Look, this is the issue that I care about. This is why it came about. You know what, we tried this and it failed, but that's okay because we regrouped. We said, all right, we learned from this. For Scott, he wants the students to start thinking about the issues. To get them engaged in thinking through sort of what's it like to be a social entrepreneur and answering some of those questions. And so the hope is that the students both with the speakers who come in and then also with each other's ventures, they're constantly thinking, all right, well, what information do I still want to know? What are the, the missing pieces here? What ideas do I have? With the world becoming so interconnected through globalization, we really can't afford to have all these cultural differences be so pronounced. Really sort of individually start trying to figure out how does all of this apply to their venture, their action plan. To make the point that what they're talking about in the classroom are real world issues, Scott brings in representatives of organizations that are dealing with real world problems. And not only do the students listen to the presentation, but they're challenged to find ways to make the representatives pitch stronger. Johanna is presenting her Chilean based nonprofit to the students. Johanna was sharing the work of her organization in southern Chile, which is doing an income generation program for women uh, who are part of the Mapuche community. Um, and right now, uh, the students are meeting with Jeremy Berman, who is a physician and has led programs to bring doctors from the U.S. to Ethiopia to do um, emergency, assist with emergency medical care and work with the physicians in Ethiopia. Each student must come up with a social business project as well as a realistic action plan with real world models to work off. The hope is that students projects can be put into action. That would, that's awesome. And so what we would do is we would pair up with an organization that's already in existence and uh, do dark fundraisers and I've already thought of several that we can do. It's not just talk as students are bringing their plans into action in their high schools around the area and hopefully into college. One of our students last year who was really concerned about um, the amount of styrofoam that was being disposed of styrofoam lunch trays in his school um, actually added it up and found however many hundreds of pounds each day or each week were being thrown out by the school. Ended up talking to the school administration, talking to a number of teachers, the students, and convinced the school to convert to biodegradable or compostable trays for the lunchroom. Scott is giving these students a new way to see business. The social entrepreneurship can realistically make their community a better place.